Welcome to the American AVK Series 53 Ball Check Valve Overview Module. In this module, you'll learn all about the AVK Series 53 Ball Check Valve, including history, function, standards compliance and testing, construction features, product range, and technical information. AVK Worldwide has two different versions of the ball check valve. The first was developed by AVK for international markets. This Series 53 ball check valve is equipped with ISO flanges. The second was developed by Hill & Delaney, or HDL, in the Netherlands. This ball check valve, known as the HDL 5087, is equipped with ANSI flanges. In 2006, AVK purchased HDL and renamed the HDL 5087 to the Series 53. In the United States, we use the Series 53 valve developed by HDL, which some of our customers still refer to as the HDL 5087. The main function of a ball check valve is to prevent return flow by closing when the flow through a water line stops or reverses. The AVK Series 53 ball check valve is used for industrial and municipal backflow protection. The simple and cost-effective design is an ideal solution to liquids containing high solids content. Now let's review standards compliance and testing for the AVK Series 53 ball check valve. There are no AWWA standards for the AVK Series 53. AWWA C508 does not apply to ball check valves, and as these valves are primarily used for wastewater and raw water, they are not certified to NSF 61 or NSF 372. However, the coatings meet or exceed the requirements of AWWA C550, and, as with all AVK products, they are manufactured in an ISO 9001-ISO 14001 certified facility. Each valve is pressure tested at production. The shell test is one and a half times the rated pressure, and the seat test is at rated pressure, which is 150 psi. Now let's discuss the design and construction of the AVK Series 53 ball check valve. A key feature of the Series 53 ball check valve is that it's very easy to repair. The bonnet can be removed and the ball lifted out and replaced with very little downtime and without removing the valve from the line. However, for larger check valves, the ball can be quite heavy. One way to lift the ball out is to drill a hole in the ball, insert an eye bolt, and lift it out with a lifting device. When the valve is in operation, the ball rotates, so when it seats, it's on a different area of the ball almost every time. This random seating of the ball on closing ensures long life. There are no actuation options for the Series 53 ball check valve. It's a very simple valve. The ball is the only moving part. However, we do have balls that will float or sink, and we'll discuss those later in this module. The AVK Series 53 has a product range of 1.5 through 24 inches. NPT end connections are available in 1.5 inch and 2 inch sizes. Flanged end connections are available in 2 inch through 16 inch and 20 inch through 24 inch sizes. There is no 18 inch valve. The standard drilling pattern is the ANSI B16.42 Class 150. These valves are also available with ISO flanges and BSP threads for customers with imported equipment. Now let's review the technical information of the Series 53 ball check valve. Here are the materials for the Series 53 ball check valve with flanged end connections. The body and the bonnet are ductile iron to ASTM A536 standards. The interior and exterior coating is AWWA C550 fusion bonded epoxy. Black primer is optional. On the 1.5 to 14 inch and 20 inch check valves, the ball is an aluminum core encapsulated with NBR. Polyurethane is optional. However, for the 16-inch and 24-inch check valves, the only ball material is an aluminum ball encapsulated with polyurethane. The bonnet gasket is NBR to D2000 standards. 
and the bonnet bolts and bonnet nuts are zinc-plated steel. 304 and 316 are optional. Note that on the AVK International version, the ball is steel or ductile iron, depending on valve size. This ball can also be used in the HDL valve. There are two versions of the Series 53 ball check valve with NPT end connections. One with a stainless steel body, and a second with a ductile iron body coated in fusion bonded epoxy. In both versions, the ball is a steel core encapsulated with NBR. Polyurethane is optional. The bonnet gasket is NBR, and the bonnet bolts, washers, and bonnet nuts are 304 stainless steel. 316 is optional. The Series 53 has relatively low head loss, or a high CV value. CV, or the coefficient of velocity, is the amount of water that can flow through a valve in gallons per minute and generate 1 psi of head loss. The CV number is primarily used to compare the head loss between two valves. The AVK Series 53 check valves have the following approximate CV values. In addition, the Series 53 has a full waterway design. With a full waterway design, the flow area is maintained, but the waterway may change its shape slightly to allow for a small part of the ball to be in the waterway. The AVK Series 53 is pressure rated to 150 psi. It maintains the standard B16.10 laying length from flange to flange, which is the same laying length as the Series 41 which means the Series 41 and the Series 53 are interchangeable. Water hammer is caused when flow in a water line suddenly stops. This causes a pressure wave to travel down the pipeline at the speed of sound. This shock wave traveling down the pipeline is the hammering sound that's heard when a check valve suddenly closes. The Series 53 is not particularly well suited to solve water hammer problems. If water hammer is a problem, the AVK Series 41 swing check valve should be recommended. The Series 53 can be provided with a ball that either sinks or floats. The floating ball is provided so that a check valve can be installed vertically with the flow going down. This is a very unusual installation and is seldom done. The sinking balls are about one and a half times the density of water and the floating balls are around 0.72 the density of water. This means that the sinking balls have a specific gravity of 1.5, making them heavier than water, causing them to sink. And the floating balls have a specific gravity of 0.7, making them lighter than water, allowing them to float. The AVK Series 53 ball check valve can be mounted vertically or horizontally. The preferred installation for best performance is vertical with the flow going up. When mounting vertically with the flow going down, a floating ball must be used. When mounting horizontally, there's a minimum static head back pressure requirement of 10 feet for effective operation. The recommended flow velocity is around 5 feet per second and the ball should move freely through the valve body. Whether mounted vertically or horizontally, the flow arrow cast in the valve body must be pointed in the direction of flow during normal system operation. The AVK Series 53 ball valve requires no scheduled lubrication or maintenance. The valve can be serviced or inspected without removal of the valve from the line. But note that all maintenance must be performed on a depressurized system to avoid injury. Now that you've completed this training, let's review the highlights of the module. In this module, you learned that the main function of a ball check valve is to prevent return flow by closing when the flow through a water line stops or reverses. It's ideal for use in applications where there is high solids content. The AVK Series 53 has a product range of 1.5 inches through 24 inches with flanged or NPT end connections. It's pressure rated to 150 psi. The standard drilling pattern is ANSI B16.42 Class 150. 
the valve meets the laying lengths of ANSI ASME B16.10 and can be mounted both horizontally and vertically. The removable bonnet assembly makes the valve very easy to repair and maintain. In the flanged valve, the body and bonnet are made of high-strength ductile iron coated with fusion bonded epoxy. The ball is an aluminum core coated with NBR or polyurethane, depending on the valve size. The bonnet gasket is NBR and the bolting is zinc-plated steel. In the NPT valve, the body and bonnet are made of 316 stainless steel or ductile iron. The ball is a steel core coated with NBR. The bonnet gasket is NBR and the bolting is 304 stainless steel. There are no actuation options for this valve. The ball is the only moving part. The Series 53 has a full waterway design. There is no scheduled maintenance required for the Series 53 ball check valve. Congratulations! You've completed this module.